Murray, could you tell us a little bit about how Lorium Capital differs from other boutique managers and other mainstream and asset managers? Okay, I guess if we, if we look at our Team 11 on an investment side, um, a, pretty strong, a very strong operations team. Um, what we are fundamental and uh, fundamental analysis, bottom up fundamental analysis is what we do, which a lot of other people do out there. So I think we, we have a team of 12 people who are chartered accountants, that's not necessarily a good thing, 10 CFAs in the team. And by going out there, meeting management, um, doing business assessments, financial assessment and valuations, pretty core cool what everyone does out there. We do that, we think we do it very well, as good as everyone out there. So that's what we do and that is core of what we do. Over and above that, what we do is we then, I think we're pretty good coming from investment banking backgrounds, which is very different to a lot of the long only man asset managers out there or some of the hedge fund guys. We are very focused on event driven special situations and probably 20% of what we do is in that space. So any capital raises out there, we're very active. We play those extremely well and we think we're able to add quite a lot of alpha from doing that. So that's one of the areas where I think we are quite different to everyone out there. And then the other area which we do is Africa. So we've done the rest of Africa since we started. Um, there's a lot of alpha to be made in the rest of Africa. And by doing it, we have most of the analysts do South Africa and Africa. And it does help in the analysis of the South African companies because a lot of them, if you take a Standard Bank, a Barclays, um, Nampax, uh, MTNs, they all have operations in Sub-Saharan Africa. And often the management you speak to in South Africa, generally always fairly bullish, but we get out there, we see what the operations are doing in Africa. Um, we speak to the CEOs, CFOs in those countries, um, competitors out there, and then we can check up on what the management say here. And often the stories do not tie up. So that's a good thing, and I think that is quite a big differentiating factor. So by doing that over time, we've actually managed to, I think, also add quite quite a decent amount of alpha um, through that process. How can investors access your funds? Our three hedge funds locally, um, two of them are a retail fund and as such you're able to come directly into the unit trust um, through Prescient um, or you can come direct, directly through us as well. Um, what we do find is a lot of individuals go through Hollard which um, is, quite, uh, is quite an attractive from a tax point of view to go directly in through Hollard and into our funds. So those are, the, those are the two main places that we find individuals coming into our funds at this stage. Now, we aren't on the platforms with, with um, the, the Momentums, the Nedbanks or the Glaciers at this stage, but that is one of the things that has been worked on for the industry and we would imagine within the six to no, next six to nine months or so, uh, hedge funds will be available on platforms um, to, come, to come into our products. Our aggressive hedge fund is not a, is not a, a retail a RIF, and it's really for qualified investors. Um, so that, that is, the, the amounts to come in that is a lot higher. Um, and uh, you can still obviously come in directly through ourselves or through Hollard as well for that product there.